Hey everybody, it's Deacon Kyle Teets here. Today we celebrate the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, a solemnity which falls 19 days after Pentecost on a Friday, so it's one of those movable uh, days every year. Sometimes, maybe as a child, we had the experience of getting really excited for a present for Christmas or our birthday. Or maybe as parents, we've witnessed this with our children. We get a new toy, and the first day we're playing with it and excited. The next day, too, it's, it's the focus of the day. But then maybe after a few days or a week or so, it isn't really that exciting anymore, and we put it off to the side and maybe even forget about it. The same thing can happen in our faith. The fervor, the zeal, the fire of the Holy Spirit, which we might experience, perhaps at Pentecost, uh, sometimes can flag or wane. And we want to be renewed in that love and that fire and desire in our lives. The solemnity of the sacred heart of Jesus is a beautiful time for us to, re- to do that, to grow closer to Jesus' sacred heart. In the gospel today, we hear very comforting words from Jesus, often heard at funerals. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Oftentimes we're weighed down by the difficulties and responsibilities, and those things can attack our our zeal, our love, our energy for the Lord. But today Jesus invites us to bring ourselves in the midst of those struggles, those challenges, maybe yoked with heavy burden uh, to him, and especially to his sacred heart. The sacred heart of Jesus, which is Jesus' heart open to us on the cross. If we think how revealing Jesus was, stretching his arms wide on the cross, and especially through the pierced side, where the, the lance pierced his side and the blood and water came forth. This is really where we look to in Scripture, of the, of the heart of Jesus being revealed to us, a heart that loves, a heart that is tender, a heart that is full of compassion and mercy for us. One of the great saints, St. Gertrude, had a particular devotion very early on to the sacred heart of Jesus. And in one, one story, she had a vision of St. John the Evangelist on his feast day. And St. John took her over to Jesus and allowed her to rest her head upon his shoulder. And she could hear his heartbeat going. St. Gertrude marveled at this and asked St. John, Why didn't you write about this in the Gospel? This is such a beautiful thing to hear Jesus' heartbeat. And St. John told to her, He was saving it for a time in the world when the world would grow cold and needed to be renewed by the warmth and love of Jesus' heart. Perhaps that time is also now where the sacred heart of Jesus can beat within our lives, can give us that warmth, that comfort, that tenderness, imagining ourselves leaning upon the shoulder, upon the breast of Jesus. I invite us at at, at this time now to pray the litany of the sacred heart. Uh, There's a link below, and I'll give you a moment to pull that up, and then we can begin together. We just invite the Sacred Heart of Jesus to bathe us in His love and His mercy so that our hearts might be on fire with the warmth and tenderness and compassion that Jesus' Sacred Heart has. We pray together now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues, have mercy on us. 
Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we all have received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of love and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation of our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient to death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and our reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like to thee. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son, and upon the praises and satisfaction of which he offers thee in the name of sinners, and to those who implore thy mercy, in thy great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with thee forever and ever. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless.